So I thought for Halloween I would represent one of the more underrepresented animals because everyone's trying to be a sexy cat, a sexy bunny, but let's, uh, let's be a sexy giraffe. Where's all the sexy giraffes at? We're making a Halloween recipe, Halloween shortbread cookies. It's gonna be a pecan shortbread cookie. You can use any kind of nuts you want and really just change the flavors up to your liking. Uh, but at the end, we're gonna decorate this shortbread cookie as a mummy, woo! He won't leave the tail alone. You like my tail? So let's get started here. First, we're gonna combine our dry ingredients. And this is just like really basic recipe. You guys probably have all these ingredients at home. Three quarters of a cup of almond flour and a quarter cup of coconut flour. We're gonna use powdered erythritol here. Feel free to use normal erythritol. You'll probably get slightly better results with the powdered stuff. Oh boy, he's got the toy that he really gets in some confrontations with. This is the toy that he gets so mad at, he just like growls for hours at it. Ow! So now we're gonna add in a half teaspoon of baking powder and we're gonna put in a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. If you don't have this at home, you can leave it out and the cookies will come out pretty good. Now we're gonna take four tablespoons of butter, put it in a microwave safe bowl and melt it. Into the melted butter, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We have the dry ingredients here. We're gonna add about half of them into the butter. Then we're gonna add an egg. That kind of prevents the egg from getting to the hot butter and burning. And then we'll add in the rest of the dry ingredients. So half of the dry ingredients now. Throw your egg in. Give that a mix. Let's add in the rest of the dry. Okay, now let's throw in the pecans. Third cup. And you're gonna wanna get a spatula to combine all this. And as always guys, if, if the consistency is not right, uh, you know, you can just add like a little coconut flour will quickly make it more of a firmer dough. This looks great. And we are gonna try making it a little bit of a rectangular log because that looks better. The mummies look better at the end. That's about good, right? Yeah, so form it on one end. Don't form it in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect because mummies aren't perfect, you know? Except for Dwayne The Rock Johnson and The Mummy Return. Now just roll this. And we're gonna throw this in the freezer for at least 30 minutes. A Little bit longer is probably preferable and then we'll slice it and bake it. We are back. This has been in the freezer for about 45 minutes now. And let's slice these, you know, pretty thin. Maybe like a quarter inch or so. There it is. Now these are not gonna spread at all. They're just gonna hold their current shape. Let's throw these in for 15 minutes at 350. The pecan shortbreads are out of the oven and they're cooled and look how good these look. They smell incredible. We've tasted these frequently. We're not gonna taste them yet until we're done. But these can, are perfect as they are, pecan shortbreads. We're gonna make a little bit of like a glaze that you dip these in, and it's gonna be white. And to do that, we're using cacao butter, and we're gonna melt it with some erythritol to make just like a thin glaze that makes these white, and then we're gonna go over top of it with some buttercream frosting. So let's get some cacao butter in here melting. <laughs> Three tablespoons right there. I'm gonna toss this in the microwave to get it to melt a little bit. 
If you guys are unfamiliar with cacao butter, we've just been using it a little bit more recently. We're gonna have more recipes using this coming out. Uh, I'm gonna link it below. We get this on Amazon. This is 24 ounces and I believe it is about $18 or so. Now that the cacao butter is completely melted, we're just gonna add a little bit of erythritol to it, about two tablespoons. Time for our mummies to go swimming. Just dip them in. About like halfway up, are we thinking? Yeah, half to two thirds. And then set them on this sheet. You can also make these into chocolate mummies, or I guess they wouldn't really be mummies, but figure out some other like, oh, you could just do the top and they could be like Frankensteins. Uh, if you use Baker's chocolate and butter works really well, just like one tablespoon of butter and maybe an ounce of Baker's chocolate. We're gonna toss these in the freezer. You can even like spoon a little bit extra on. I think I'm gonna do that. Toss these in the freezer, we'll be back in, let's say 20 minutes. This is kind of what I ended up with. Um, obviously not the best artistry there. <laughs> And honestly, doing this now, the cocoa butter step, you can pretty much skip that if you want. You can just do this buttercream. So both the links for both of these buttercream frostings are gonna be below, it's on our website. It's basically just butter, erythritol. This one has vanilla, and then like a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. And instead of vanilla, the chocolate one has cocoa powder. It's really easy to make, it takes like under a minute. I'm gonna kinda of show you what I did here. I'm just kinda of gonna drop an eyeball on there. Then what I like to do is put a little speckle of white on top of the eye. And then just start going across it with some, like, what are they called? Wraps. And that's really not much of a mummy. Yeah, make this with your kids. Have them do it. They'll probably make better ones than I do. We'll finish these up and then we'll do a taste test. Hey guys, so actually when you like stack them all together and line them up like this, it doesn't look terrible. That looks pretty good. It's pretty adorable. Mega did most of the rest of them. She's more artistic than me. Which one's the cutest? You're gonna eat the cutest? Yeah, I'll do this one. Mm. The cocoa butter is like at room temperature right now, so it has like a really good taste to it. That's what you want for a Halloween cookie. Extremely sweet. You can even cut down on some of the sweetener, I would say, and you won't be disappointed. You don't get too much of the pecans. Pecans or pecans? I say pecans. Honestly, you can omit the pecans if you want, and it'll be more of like a shortbread with a bunch of chocolatey icings. I like the icings a lot. The recipes for the icings are on our website. So like this is just a really good keto buttercream icing. Feel free to like, cinnamon would be good, pumpkin spice would be really good. It's just a really good base and you can add whatever flavorings you want. This one's vanilla, this one's chocolate. I like the chocolate. Perfect for Halloween. And if you have some kids and stuff, I feel like it'd be good you just get like both of these in the piping bags and you kind of just let them go to town and see what they come up with. Kind of like Easter, painting Easter eggs. So happy Halloween, says the giraffe.